I'd like to go over the uh, menu and display functions on this LCR meter. Powering it from a battery pack. I'm going to turn it on. You'll see that display, that display, and then it goes into the measurement mode. On the battery pack uh, USB meter, it shows no current draw at all. The default power up mode is resistance, which is a pretty simple display. Uh, until we plug a component in, there are no displayed variables. The only other display is the frequency of test. It's 100 hertz and the speed, and I believe that's an update speed of medium. We can change from resistor to capacitor to inductor with this lower button which if you can see through to the circuit board is marked RCO. Now when we go to uh, capacitance and inductance some other uh, variables to be measured show up that are not available in resistance. So this is the primary measurement. These are secondary measurements. And the configuration is to look at the resistance or other secondary measurements in the series mode or the parallel mode, which can be selected using this button, the middle button. On the silk screening down there it says SP, Series Parallel. If we actually make a measurement, let's just take a, a simple resistor. You see, it took three measuring cycles to determine that this is a 10 ohm resistor. That's what I meant by measurement frequency or interval or speed. These numbers down here are complex numbers. If we push and hold this third button, the RCL button, enter into a menu. Using the same button we can navigate through the menu. Let's go to the first one. We can select It's toggling between 100 hertz measurement frequency and 1 kilohertz measurement frequency. So we have available two excitation frequencies for the variable under measurement. We can move down to speed. There are five speeds. Medium, high 1, high 2, low 2, low 1, back to medium. If we move down to bottom, now bottom is the information displayed down here when we're in the measurement screen. And that's the information about the complex number series. So ZA is modulus and phase angle and Rx or existence and reactance. So 
serial output you can output through the uh, USB port a string of uh, measurement information if you want to record default returns it to its factory default and information just probably displays that second splash screen and I guess this is the firmware installed right now press the hold button to exit the third button is the hold button takes us back to the menu and the hold button should also exit the menu We have another function that it performs. Pressing and holding the center button will enter the calibration mode. Now it's supposed to be shorted. Pressing and holding this button enters the other half of the calibration menu with the, it's supposed to be open terminals. So let's do it for real once. So with the meter in the normal measurement mode, and it doesn't matter whether we're in R, C, or L, with this terminal open, press and hold until we get into the calibration cycle. It'll finish by itself. Then we'll introduce a short. And I'm using a hairpin of wire. So we'll press and hold this button. We enter the short or the zeroing portion of the calibration cycle. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to hook up some test leads. I'm going to short them out. I'm going to do the zero. Calibration cycle. So here we have a very old probably dates back to the early 90s and it was in an, a power supply that was continuously energized. 1200 microfarad capacitor. I'll go to the capacitor mode and it reads 1244 millifarads with an ESR of 85 milliohms. So that's not bad. Remember, this is micro, and this is milli. I have a similar capacitor taken out of the same power supply. So 1,243 microfarads, 0.85 milliohms uh, ESR, that's not bad. 
Here I have a 6 microfarad motor starting capacitor. And sure enough, there it is, 6 microfarad, with an ESR of 0.4 ohms. It's a uh, date code of late 77. And it's uh, Mark no PCBs. <laughs> Don't see them very often. Let's look at our little LCR block. The coil is supposed to be 780 micro Henrys. So it thinks it's around 900 micro Henrys. I don't think the Chinese are that far off. Although that's at 10 kilohertz. So let's go in and change it to 10 kilohertz. So that's not bad. 780 micro Henry's as compared to 780. 780 and resistance. Supposed to be 60.4, say 60.5. Averaging these two. And lastly, we'll look at C, which is supposed to be five point five nanofarads. And 5.5. You round it off to two digits, 5.45. I'd say this thing is very close to being correct. We'll look at this little board once. So this will start with 10.8 ohms. We'll go to 99.9. I guess this is a thousand ohms. <laughs> Looks pretty good. 9.99K. Um, 9 And 99K. Oh, there we go. 99.8. And this was 99... Whatever that is. 99 point... Is that a 9? Or an 8? Capacitance, I think we, these leads are not right to do capacity. Try one nanofarad. Now oh, there's one nanofarad. Back to 103 picofarad. Okay, 107. Remember, I've got my fingers clamped on these. So at the small numbers, it'll get. Should be using a four wire measurement. Uh, 
9.8 nanofarads. That looks pretty good. 102 nanofarads. <laughs> Can't do any better than that. 958 nanofarads. 958. 900. You can buy this completely built, tested. $65 for AliExpress delivered. That's built, not kit.